What is up guys, Johnny here back with another Shadowgun Legends video. Today we talk about the upcoming event Test Fire starting tomorrow. Shadowhunter about to end, we'll talk about it a little bit. But also we will spin the wheel at Pedro in today's video. So make sure you hit the like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Let's start. So yeah guys, Shadowhunter about to end. That was a cool event focusing on using the skills. That was a bit of a grind. I did finish my grenade kills. I needed like five ribbons for the medal. I know some of you guys had to grind a little bit more maybe. But yeah, I did get a bunch of gamma ray paint. So I got five right now. And uh, the deal with these gamma ray paint cans is I was saving these strong boxes at the top. It's called Orion strong boxes. I had three in my inventory and I was saving them for the gamma ray because gamma ray is in there. So I was thinking if I use my gamma rays and I have zero, then I open Orion strong box, they will give me a gamma ray paint, right? So if it's already in your inventory, they're going to give me some Pedro will tokens. But if I don't have gamma ray, they're going to give me gamma ray. So like right now, there's no point holding on to these because they're just taking spots in my inventory. So I will open all three of these. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be uh, tokens, right? Because I got everything, right? Oh no, lilac stripes. Are you trolling me right now? I did not have that. All right. So the next two, maybe. I mean, I don't know. I guess so. So, but I already got like 14 tokens. Right, let's see what's the next one. Because seriously, I think I got everything. Come on. All right, there you go. So Pedro's will token. When you have everything, they give you a token. So that's gonna be another token, right? I mean, no trolling. Here we go. All right, so I think I, I had 14 before that. So we got 16 tokens and yeah, 16 tokens and 25 lucky points. So I will spin the wheel today and we'll see what's in the wheel because there was another update. Usually I, every Thursday they rotate the strong box content and they also rotate the content on the ads machines. But we don't know about the lucky will. What's in the will and when and when does it change? Like maybe it's a full set of items that just randomly drops. Or maybe every week they kind of rotate. They don't talk much about it. But hey, let's start with the lucky will and then we'll talk about tomorrow's event. So we got 16 spins. I'll go 5 times 3 and the last one at the end. So let's get lucky guys. Oh man, my inventory is going to be full in a flash. Conquistador. I love this helmet by the way. Like the shadow gun in one of the missions is wearing that one. Lime green bucket. Paint bucket's always nice. And here's a true patriot legendary drop. Boom. Bingo. Oh, evil overlord. White flower hat. Missing you, white flower. I don't know what you're doing right now, but hit me up on Discord. And that was five. Let's go for five more. So far, so good. Few hats. Legendary. Camel crate. Okay. Man, I don't have that often. I like I like cosmetics. No, not that. That's the first real bad item in like two, like ten spins. There's another leggy. It's Savannah Lion Coat. Not that I need that. Here we go. Alternate blue paint bucket. One more. Ah, that's two trash items. Green mats. So we still have six tokens left. Let's go for five more. And paint can holo. I haven't spin the wheel in a while. I mean, I have so much stuff. Raiden hat. It's all duplicates for me. I have so many cosmetics that, like, there's nothing new for me. I know some guys are looking for specific hats. Another camel crate. How do I have that much space? I mean, I thought my inventory was full. Uh, yeah, some guys looking for specific hats. They're asking if it's in the wheel. Seriously, I don't know. All right, let's go for the last token. Oh, inventory full. It had to happen, right? So I'm just gonna dismantle like that one, Shiva. And now I have one spot. All right. I thought that was gonna happen. Here we go. Last one. Laggy. And what? Biohazard is in the... What? I never seen Biohazard in the wheel. Guys, leave a comment below. Is that the first time ever? I mean, for me, it's new. I spin the wheel quite often in the past and many, many times. 
and never seen biohazard so okay i'll take it all right now let's talk about the next event guys so the next event is called test fire and it will be based around weapons and usage of them for both pve and pvp players will be able to grind some resources in both game modes so i don't know if it's gonna be similar to what we had for the the skills event but we have different missions uh we had some unique missions and repeatable missions and they were all based on using skills and you had to get kills with skills then you had to get ribbons and medals so this week's gonna be about weapons so i don't know maybe they will say uh do that with pistols or do this with secondary weapons uh you know like we had in the like not long ago uh, multi kills with secondary or multi kills with rocket launchers so i guess it's gonna be cool to like what i love about these events is they make you do stuff that you don't normally do they make you play different ways and yeah it's it is fun like i love diversity and i love having challenges so like they're not really specific about rewards and i did ask uh anything else about the rewards and what i have for an answer is there will be two cosmetic items and there will be option to get some infusion resource and war points so guys war points is great news i always like repeatable missions for easy war points I know for hardcore PvP players, it doesn't mean much, but some guys message me on my YouTube comments and on Discord. How can I get more war points? It's such a long grind to get 2,000. I want to buy this specific weapon. And war points is a grind if you're a casual player. So these events are a good way to stock the war points. And for now, that is all the info we have, guys. Test fire based on weapon usage, and it's both PvE and PvP. And again, it's not surprising because they already announced it. They said the next few events will be kind of small and don't expect great rewards that will be a bit smaller. And I guess until the Halloween. So kind of happy that they will try to please both PvE and PvP players. And uh, war points always nice. Looking forward to see what kind of missions we'll have to do uh, starting tomorrow, guys. So that is it for today, guys. Short video, but it's all the info I have for you guys. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave the like if you did. And once again, please, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel for more Shadowgun Legends news, gameplay, and guys, I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care.